Science. Here on the border between France and Switzerland, some 100 meters below ground, lies the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest, highest energy particle accelerator. It's hoped it'll help us understand some of the deepest laws of nature. If you imagine the LHC as a racetrack where particles run close to the speed of light, then think of the magnetic field as their driver. More than 1,200 so-called supermagnets weighing around 30 tons each are responsible for making the particles follow a curved path inside the collider and make them meet. Questi magneti superconduttori these superconducting electromagnets are the heart of the machine. They're present throughout the 27-kilometer-long tunnel. To get the particles to trace a curve in the LHC ring, we need stronger magnetic fields, like those created by the superconductors. To feed this kind of magnetic field, you need a huge amount of electricity. You therefore need superconductor materials which are able to transport currents without resistance and without generating heat. Thanks to this superconductivity, we have an enormous amount of electricity and we can recreate the equivalent of 200,000 times the magnetic field of the Earth. In our everyday life, superconductors would allow us to save huge amounts of energy. Unfortunately, this kind of material only works at very low temperatures close to minus 270 degrees Celsius. The temperature inside is lower than in space. It's a temperature the universe will reach in some 10 billion years because of its ongoing expansion. In September 2008, a faulty electrical connection caused a major incident forcing the collider to close for over a year. But since the machine was started up again, world records in energy production have been met, paving the way for a whole new generation of of increasingly powerful magnets and further groundbreaking tests.